going to tie a classic streamer today. This is a Mickey Finn, and I'm starting off with a size 6 streamer hook in the vise, and I'll use two different threads, the first of which is going to be a 70 red, and this is going to act as uh, a tag at the bottom of this pattern or at the bend in the hook, and also just to tie in my preliminary materials or my body materials, and then I'll switch over to a 6 dot black to finish off the head. So I'm just bringing my thread down to the bend in the hook and all I'm doing here is tying in a little tag and I'll maybe go over it twice just to make sure I've covered it all and then I'll leave my thread maybe at the, the point in the hook. Now I can tie in my rib, and for that I'm going to use just a brassy size silver wire. And I want this to run the entirety of the hook shank, so I'll tie it into the side. And I just want to make sure that it goes all the way up to where I've started my red thread. I'm going to be using a tinsel for the body, and I just want to make sure that there's consistency in the width of, of this pattern. Not that it would throw it off that much with with the wire, but I'm trying to make this as clean as possible. The body that I'm going to use, as mentioned, is a tinsel. And so I like to use this um, two-sided tinsel. One side is silver, the other side is a gold. And so it's versatile. I'll tie this, and I've kind of learned from trial and error. I tie it gold side up. Again, if you have just regular tinsel that's silver, it's not going to matter. But what I found is that you tie it opposite of the what you want to show. And I'll just tie this down to about the barb in the hook. And I'll leave my thread up at that two-thirds mark. So now when I wrap it, you can see it reverses. And that gold is now down, the silver up. You can use a lot of different materials for your body. I like tinsel, but you could use uh, like a diamond braid, or you can use uh, tubing. You've got options. So just going to bring this all the way up through until it reaches my thread, and then I'll tie it off, trim the excess. And now I can wrap my rib up through. And so here, just nice even wraps all the way up through until it gets to my thread. And then again, I'll tie it off and break the excess. And now at this point, I'm going to do two things. One, I'm done with my red, so I'll whip finish this. And two, before I start to tie in my wing material, I'm going to take just a little bit of Sally Hansen's and coat my tag. And I do that just to help, help protect the threads there. Also gives it kind of a clean look with the, the threads. making sure I've got it all covered. Alright, now I can start to tie in my next thread color. And so again, this is a black 6 dot, And I'll just get it started here at the front of the hook. Remove the excess. And I'm just going to cover up the red and I'll leave it kind of in the in the middle of that section. So I'm going to tie three different sections of wings in two different uh, colors of bucktail. A yellow, then a red, and then another section of yellow. I like to make it so that each section's a little bit longer than the one than the one before it so it gives it some taper. So the first piece I'm going to use is a yellow 
I'll clip it. I'm going to hold it at a 90 degree angle from the from the hide so that it gives me a good tip alignment. I'm not going to stack it. You probably could if you wanted to. Um, and then I'm holding it by the tip and just removing some of the shorter sections. So the first one that I'm going to take here, I want it to be about the length of the hook shank. So I get kind of my, my rough idea for my measurement. And then when I'm ready to trim it, I'm just going to switch hands, take my measurement, I'll cut it at an angle so it helps with the taper of the head. And then instead of just tying it straight down, I'm going to put a loop wrap in here. So I'll loop it around once and I'll pinch it again and then I'll pull it straight down and I'll do these for each section and the reason I do that is so instead of if you tie it straight down uh, it would want to kind of spill out on either side this keeps it a little bit more right on right on top and hopefully we'll keep those colors a little bit more a little bit more separated so again, I'll leave it kind of in the middle section here, and I'll come to my next bit of red. And so I'm going to take a comparable amount in terms of width. I'm just going to make it a little bit longer. And so I'll repeat the process, take it off at a 90 degree angle from the hide, hold it by the tips to weed it out. And then when I measure this, I want it to go just a little bit further than the yellow. I'll switch grips, cut it at an angle, and now put in that loop wrap again. So pinch it, loop it, pull it straight down. And if there's tips that come out, just trim it off at an angle. So now with my second piece in, I'll again wrap down the tips. And you can see how they're stacked one on top of the other, as opposed to draping over each other. Alright, so the final piece then is going to be my longest section, and this is going to be another uh, batch of yellow. So I'll hold it at a 90 degree angle, take it off the hide, hold it by the tip, so that the long sections, or the short sections rather, fall off. And then when I measure this out, it's going to be my longest section, which will extend just past the red. I'll switch hands, I'll make an angled cut. I'll loop, pinch, pull straight down, and I'm just going to trim this up just slightly so it doesn't affect my taper. And now I can just start building out this head. And I'll just want to fill in any low spots, applying good pressure here the whole time. And now I'll just take a couple of whip finishes. Trim the excess. And now finally I'll coat this with a little more Sally Hansen's again to help protect. And it also We'll fill in, we'll blend those threads together. So just a little bit of that on. And I'll come back through with my bodkin. Smooth it out.
and when this goes through the water that bucktail will will compress and uh, it'll look it'll look real slick. I'll adjust it here so you can see it. And let that set up and dry and again that's one of the the classic streamers. You can tie the wings in a couple of different uh, materials as well. You can use a marabou or you can use um, a lot of different options that you have there.